Hi, so, episode four. Um, today, I'm going to make some business cards. I'm going to take a sheet of watercolor paper and show you how to make real simple, easy business cards. If you're a watercolor painter, or even if you're not, if you paint with acrylics, you could do this. I don't think it's going to work with oils. They take far too long to dry. I guess you could do it with oils. You could paint it on that paper they make for oil paints, and then you could cut up the oil paper. It's going to take a long time to let it dry, though. Well, whatever. Anyways, so I'm going to break this into a couple of different parts. I think it's going to be three parts on how I did this. And uh, I'll put the first one up tonight, and hopefully the second two will go up tomorrow. And then after that, in the next video, or the next episode, I'll show you how I make picture frames for about three or four euros a piece. Okay, so see you later. Bye. Okay, so we're on. Alright, so my plan is... I'm going to make a bunch of business cards out of watercolor paper that are business card size. So the first thing I did was I took a sheet of of Sanders Waterford 200 pound paper and I cut it into strips that are all the size of a business card. And there's 10 cards on each strip so that'll be 30 cards. And so the first thing to do is to just mark on these strips where the cards are, but do not cut them. This is my mat cutter. I use a Logan mat cutter. I use their Compact Classic. Um, it's good for prints and things up to about mats up to about, I don't know, 80 centimeters or something like that, 90 centimeters. So anyways, um, yeah, so the next thing to do is to just simply put these markings on here. Oh yeah, and I'm cutting off the decal here on the end. So yeah, so just line it up here. Don't have to be absolutely stunningly perfect. See, once you have one of these measured off, you can just use it to measure all the other ones. I wouldn't do this if I was building something engineering-wise that had to be really, really accurate to tenths of a millimeter. But nothing here has to be that accurate. Okay, so, and once you have that, you can just lay this one in the middle. Cut off the back again. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these strips, and I could do it on a mat cutter, but I'll just do it right here. And I'm going to come in here.
let's split the difference. But those are just guides to where to put down the tape anyways. You're going to use this technique for doing your measuring, which is fine, I think. Don't try to cut it with this piece of paper standing there. You'll just butcher this piece of paper and it won't work. So don't do that. here because I don't need them. They're not absolutely exactly the same, but they're close enough. somewhere, I don't know, color test strips or something. Ah, so now we got these blanks here. The next thing up on here. Okay, so I can probably do five at once. Okay, 25 at a time. That would be good. So the first thing I need is a line that all these things are going to sit on. tape and what you want to do you can do this if you want you can put a line here but you don't really need it what you want to do you're going to make some little edges here so what you do is you take a piece of tape and a little bit of border tape that baby down Then you measure how much is buried. The tape is two and a half centimeters wide and half a centimeter on each side. Roughly. This 
centimeter and a half between them. Okay. So now we line up the next one. Then you measure off the next one. I won't have to measure all this stuff next time. And it doesn't have to be absolutely exact. Remember, it's a watercolor paint. Close enough. Okay, now we take down the bottom of the cap, and then I'll show you if we do it in the middle. That's easy. Okay, let me just take a piece of this tape, lay out the line. And split it right down the middle. This off, lay it down right here. Oh, 
Uh oh, I didn't get them exactly right. Now oh, that's a little high. These are a little low. Okay. Well, fuck. I'm not gonna waste my time. Good enough for government work. Okay, now I got 25 business cards laid out. And we're going to take a break, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to paint.